Hey guys, how are you? So today I have a makeup declutter and I think I posted one maybe about two months ago. I think it was towards the beginning of the new year and I went through my collection again. I do declutters pretty often. I'm pretty selective about what I want to keep in my collection and there are products that I'm kind of like side-eyeing about if I want to keep them in my collection but these are ones currently that I will be decluttering to friends and family and see if they want them. If no one wants them then I will keep them and maybe try to work with them a little bit more but for now I'm just going to try to declutter them. You know, none of these products are bad many of them I'm just kind of bored of them or I have something that I like better or I think maybe one or two of them did go bad on me which is fine but anyway I'm gonna get into the products that I'm decluttering so I do have one brush that I will be decluttering this is the Morphe M330 brush and this is like a tapered fluffy blending brush I did like this for a while but then I realized I was bringing up my product too high on my eyes and I think this will be better suited on someone with larger eyes than me I think I have hooded eyes. I do have a decent amount of eye space, but I feel like if I blend things up to my brow bone, I just look crazy. And I do keep my eyeshadow a little bit higher. And it's mostly because sometimes I just can't help it. But this is a product that I will be decluttering. It's just because it's too big for my eye shape. And this is the Wet n Wild Wild Shine Clear Nail Protector. And it's just like their top coat from their, I guess, like Wild Shine line. And this is garbage. Like, the brush is awful. I feel like I can never get, like, a good grip on the applicator. And it just, like, just does not apply that well. I don't know. And the clear nail polish is, like, super thin. It doesn't even make my nails shiny or dry any faster. This is only, like, 99 cents. So I wasn't expecting this to be, like, a miracle worker. But I just did not like this. And I will be decluttering it. Next are two products that kind of went bad on me. The first one is the Ulta Beauty Cream Eyeshadow in Smoky Quartz. And I actually used up one of these last year. And this is how much I have left of it. So this basically just dried out on me. And it made my eyeshadows kind of bunch up and flake off a little bit. And it t happened towards the end of my Ulta Beauty Cream Eyeshadow in Rose Gold. This one doesn't feel too dry right now. But I can tell that it is. I'll give you a swatch of it. It's a really pretty shade. But I actually just realized that I'm pretty pretty sure they discontinued this line so as you can see it's a really pretty bronze shade and it is nice for bronzy eyeshadow looks this just wasn't applying super well on my eyes anymore and like I said it sometimes made my eyeshadows flake so I am done with it and then this is sad this is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in Midnight Cowboy I loved this but I've noticed that it's gotten more liquidy and it's not putting as much glitter on like it just seems like really not that pigmented anymore so if I want to pick this up again I can definitely just buy it again because they're still making them I am decluttering one eyeshadow and I'm sure you guys see this coming and I'm sure a couple of you will be kind of mad at me but I will be decluttering the ColourPop eyeshadow in GNO this was in my Pan That palette 2019 it's the only eyeshadow that I did not finish and it is still a really pretty shade but I am neglecting it and I just don't feel like keeping it in my Z palette and I'm currently panning another palette right now. It's the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe eyeshadow palette, and that is a pretty big palette that has warm tones in it. So it could pair well with that, but I don't want to be worried about like trying to use this eyeshadow when I'm trying to pan that big palette. So here's what that shade looks like. It's a really pretty color, but I'm sure I have something similar in my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. I also have a pretty bright orange in my Beach Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. So it's fine that I'm getting rid of it, honestly. I won't miss it, I don't think. I know a lot of you guys wanted me to continue panning it, but I just don't feel like it, honestly. So I did a bit of a blush purge, and none of these blushes are bad. Like, honestly, they perform perfectly fine, but I just have two other blushes that I prefer, and I've been going hard with them, and I haven't been using these ones as much. So this one is a mini Becca blush in Camellia. It's so cute. It's only that big. And here is what this blush looks like. I've used this probably about like 10 times since I got it. I think I got it around Christmas time. And it is a kind of like hot pink shimmery blush. And this just looks too pink on me. I do have a bit of a more neutral to warm skin tone, especially because I do wear a lot of warm looks. I haven't been reaching for this that much. And when I do wear it, I'm not loving it that much because it is like a baby pink shimmery blush. And it just looks too pink on my cheeks. I think my mom might like this or Lisa. Lisa wears a bigger variety of looks than I do, so I think she'll really like it. And then this one is actually a blush that Lisa gave me, but I just haven't been using it. This is one of the Milani Baked Blushes in Luminoso. And this is a corally peachy shade. And this is a baked blush. This is beautiful, but it is a little bit too orangey on me, which is funny because I just said that one's too pink. So here is what Luminoso looks like compared to Camellia. 
and it's beautiful. I do love a good shimmery blush, but this one was just one I wasn't using that often, and it was mostly because I didn't love the way it looked on me. This one is kind of hurting me to get rid of, and I might regret it or might decide not to. I'll let you know in this little, I guess, title right here if I decide to put one. So this is another one of the Milani Baked Blushes, and this is in Berry Amore, and if you guys were watching my channel last year, you'd probably know that I mentioned this, I think in like one or two favorites videos, and I was really enjoying it. So here's what Berry Amore looks like. It is a really pretty shade, but it looks very similar to the Laura Geller blush that I have in Honeysuckle, and that one applies better in my opinion. This one is still really pretty. So this is what Berry Amore looks like. Honestly, it looks really pretty. I might try it again before I do decide to declutter it, but I just like the Laura Geller one a little bit better. It's a little bit more pigmented, but it like doesn't look like too much on the skin, and this doesn't either, but I just feel like they're too similar for me to keep both of them. And finally, I have lip products, and there are a decent amount here. I am so picky with my lip products, and honestly, mostly, I just wear nudes. I wish I could just have, like, a couple nude lipsticks and then one darker liquid lipstick so I can wear if I want a deeper look or if I want to go out. So I have some bullet lipsticks here. This one is actually one I recently picked up, and this is the Milani Lipstick in Nude Cream, or Nude Creme, however you want to pronounce it. And here's what mine looks like. And I did like this. I, at least I thought I liked it at first. But I realized that this stains my lips hot pink, and I don't want that if I want a nude lipstick. I want a nude lipstick, so here's what it initially looks like when you put it on your lips. It is a beautiful color. I don't even think it's that nude, honestly. When I see nude cream on other people, I feel like it looks a lot more nude as opposed to, I think this looks pretty peachy on me. But like I said, it does stain my lips hot pink, and I'm not a fan. This is a really nice lipstick formula, so I'd be interested to try other colors, but this one is one I'm passing on. And then speaking of staining my lips hot pink, this is another lipstick that does that for me, and this is the Doll 10 Lipstick in Uptown Girl. Both lipsticks have a beautiful formula. So this is the Doll 10 shade, and then this is the Milani. So they're both really pretty shades. They have nice formulas, but I'm just not wanting my lips stained pink. Next, I am passing on a lipstick that I did get from Octoly, and this is the Becca Lipstick Love Lipstick. This packaging is beautiful. It's a gold tube, and it does have, like, a magnetic closure. Love that. However, this is a deeper color, and I should have known when selecting this that I probably would rather just have a liquid lipstick in this color. This is the shade Souffle, and that's what it looks like. So it is, like, a deeper nude shade. This would be beautiful on dark skin tones as, like, an actual nude and on me, this is more of like a brick kind of ready brown shade. So that's what the Becca color looks like. And this is a fine lipstick, but I'd rather have a liquid lipstick in this shade because my lips are pretty small and sometimes things can like bleed out of my lip line. And I don't feel like using a lip liner all the time. So this is what I'm going to pass on. And finally, I'm passing on two liquid lipsticks. And this one was passed on to me from Angela. And I do like the Ofra liquid lipstick formula, but this color was just not cute on me. This is the color in Verona. And the Ofra Liquid Lipsticks have such a nice formula. They're really comfortable on the lips, and they're more of a moussey texture. So that's a swatch of Verona. And it looks like it'll be a pretty color, but on me, this just looks like a light brown shade, so it's not cute. I'll see if this looks good on Elisa when I see her, or I'll ship it to her. So this one is what I'm going to be passing on, mainly because of the color. And kind of the same for this one. This is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Lipstick. And this is in behind the bleachers. The Wet n Wild liquid lipstick formula is fine, but I do find them to be a little bit drying. But this is just a color preference for me. So this is a red lipstick, and I'm just not a red person. I would rather have something that's more of like a berry toned or more of a brick toned than like a straight up red color. So I'll see if a friend wants this. I'm just not into red lipsticks, so I just need to stop buying them. <laughs> So that is my small spring of makeup declutter. Like I said, it's not like these products are bad. I'm just kind of bored of them or some of them maybe have went bad, but they will be finding good homes so you don't have to worry about that. And please don't ask me for my decluttered items. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want, you can check out my horse channel as well. It is CNK Equestrian. I'll have it linked down below. I post horse related content on there. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.